Hello there, my hearties. Dinky do, it's just me, Scotty McClue. Nine o'clock on a Sunday night, and nothing gets past me, of course. And I thought up, I'd just pop up and say hello and dinky do to all of you. See how you are, see how you're getting on, and uh, find out how your week was. Very, very important. So, Scotty McClue saying dinky do to every single one of you. D. Gurley, good evening. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, excellent that you're watching tonight. Fantastic stuff. Welcome, 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 I say, to one hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment right across the internet from me, Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. D. Gurley says, good evening. Good evening to you, James Bauer. Good evening, sir. Good evening, James. Lovely to have you with us. Henry Newton, Joe Riley, Tony Hughes, Tony Mack. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you, Tony. Wonderful to have you with us. Ahoy, shipmate, says David McCafferty. Ahoy to you, bosun. Lovely. Thank you for piping me on board. Hi, Scotty. Uh, good evening, pal. How was your day? This is Thomas Hamilton. A wonderful day, Thomas. Thank you. Kirkfield Bank, just on there. I saw that pop by. Hello, says Ian Hills. Hello, Ian. Wendy Walker's watching. Hi, Scotty, says Chris Higgins. Hi, Chris. Dinky do. Now, I've got all sorts of different lighting I could try for you. Do you like that? A little bit of the bluer light, or the brighter light, or even brighter, or that? You tell me what's best. Good evening, Scotty. Great radio shows over the weekend. Steve Burrows, I thank you. And it's encouragement from lovely people like your good self that uh, that has come about. So there you are. Shentria, uh, hello, welcome, welcome, I say. Thomas Hamilton, Dinky Lucid Divine. Marvellous to have you all with us. How very, very busy we are tonight, guys. Absolutely amazing. Jim Wilson, Brian Keswick, and Carmick McCusker. Billy Hunter, lovely to have you with us. Steph McIlvenny, excellent. Welcome, 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 I say. A very busy evening. John Patterson's watching. Dinky do. Paul Wilkinson. Hi, Scotty. This is Peter Burney. Hello, Peter. Gordon Stilling's watching. And uh, how is Agnes Gordon? Sharing on taking Scotland back. Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo, Henry Newton. Thank you very much for that. Very much appreciated. Scotty, hello from Coke Bridge. Hello, everybody. And a very, very warm welcome to Sunday night. Tony Mac, loved your radio shows on Friday and last night. It was great. Well, I've got some good news for you, Tony. I'll tell you about that in a bit. Did Peter Lowell put you to the guy for the disco lights? Yes, lovely. Thank you very much to everybody, to Peter for the disco lights. Wonderful. How about that? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, excellent. Um, Lisa Duncan, I remember that. Lisa says, Alison Booth, they're having a chat. TV show, when, says David McCafferty. This is television, David. That's what this is. This is world-class television for you. Hello, Derek Jimmy Walker. Uh, the joke, that was fantastic. Yes. How are you getting on, old Jim? No problem at all. Shout out to Gemma Riley, says John Dick New. John Dick New, how marvellous to hear from you, I say. Dinky do to John Dick New. There were, I was going to get you some more light. I'm just wondering, we're a bit, a little bit short on the light, aren't we? Shall we see if we can get, does that any help? Not really. No, it doesn't help at all. Uh, so there we are. Is the light fine? Uh, James Byer, I was up in Oban the other day. How it makes me proud to be Scottish. The journey up and down was breathtaking with the scenery. Well, it is, James. The only trouble is a wee dash of rain, as you know, can change the whole thing. But when you see Connell Bridge there, fantastic. And look across to Ardhatton Priory. Absolutely wonderful. When you look up Loch Etiff, and uh, you've got Loch Linney there and all that, Kerra. And you would see out in the island, there's a memorial there. That's the memorial to David McBrain, the shipping man. Uh, I'm just across on the Isle of Mull, says Lauren Clare McCush. Lauren Clare McCush, lovely to have you. I used to go to the Isle of Mull for my holidays. And um, we got off. In fact, the, the ferry terminal at Craig Newer was brand new. I think this was about 1964, 65, and the, the ferry terminal was brand new because the boats used to go to Tobermory and there was one called the Claymore. And the Claymore could actually take your car on board. You drove on to Nets 
And they hoisted your car up. You saw your car go away up. You know, oh, fantastic stuff. Uh, it's good you're doing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, pal. Fantastic stuff. Yes, indeed. We're now on on a Sunday night on the radio as well. But I'll tell you all about that. Macher Pedrell. The light's fine, Scotty. Chill out, big pal. Macher. We loved you on the radio last night. How amazing was that? I'm watching the Conservative Party conference. And you, Scotty, multitasking. Well, there you are. Well, don't put too much attention onto that. Watch me, because we had a problem for the first time in two years. All right. Yes, Tom and Murray. McClure, fair play to you. Two radio shows um, were out of this world. Agnes and I conceived a child at the bus lay-by at Hart Hill Services last night during the show. The Wayne will be called Scott Gordon Sterling. I thank you. I feel even more humble than usual. And uh, Agnes can go back to... Uh, getting the springs polished up for the next gardener overhaul. I uh, hope you've declared you're now working, Scotty, says John Finley. Absolutely, John Finley. I have never stopped. Uh, evening, Scotty. Glad you're back in the wireless. Thank you so much. Who was that? Wendy Walker. Hi, Denise. Phoned you on Friday night, Scotty. It was good to speak to you, Paul McCulley. Now, guys, I was going to say that. If you're phoning and you say, you know me, Scotty, I'm on your Facebook, I won't know who it is because it's first names only. So please don't think I'm some kind of devdy and go, well, I don't know who you are. It's just I won't recognize it's the same person. So you have to remind me. You don't do the smarty pants stuff. Not that you would do that anyway, Paul. But I'm just saying, Hunter George, dinky do. Now, all of you deserve a wee bit of a row. And I need you to fess up here. Now, you've got to be honest, guys. There's no mucking about This is Scotty McClure you're talking to. So we need to be absolutely straight, straight down the middle. Okay, straight down the middle here. Fantastic stuff. Now, uh, last week, the BBC, the British Bottom Cream, the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, originally the British Broadcasting Company, were broadcasting a fabulous drama called Bodyguard. And it was the finale. And it clashed with Scotty McClue's show. Now, my figures were discernibly down last week, the viewing figures, which made me suspect that you might have been watching the, guard, the Bodyguard, right? Now, I need you to front up. Were you watching The Bodyguard last week? Just say, I or no, yes or no, I or nay. Fantastic stuff. If you just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on the big one, Facebook Live, just for you. Only thing, any chance of a midweek show as us DJs can't hear it at the weekend. Brian Sloan, I am always thinking of us DJs at the back of my mind, of course. Nope, says D. Gurley. No, D. Gurley, you went, you were watching. Scotty McClure. I want to know, last week, the big competition for viewers was between Scotty McClure and the BBC's Bodyguard drama. No, I was watching you, says Charles McLaughlin. You went, hi, Scotty. Thank you for posting the link of Francie and Josie's last great show, a very talented duo. They were lovely people, Gordon, and of course you would know them well because they came into STV in the early days and um, the lovely late Sir William Brown, who was the managing director from 1966, they had a funny name for him. They used to call him Flushy Brune. And they talked about, oh, do you mind when we're on STV at the Coo Cardens? And Flushy Brune used to pay us out. <laughs> I love that. They included that in their act. Uh, Scotty, uh, what do you think of the SFA playing two semi-final ties on a Sunday at Hamden? What could go wrong, says Alan Cadden. Indeed, absolutely. Uh, it's a great show. Sorry, big man. I'm back now, though, says David McCafferty. So you were watching Bodyguard, David. You fronted up. I respect you for that. I don't mind, but I was just surprised at some people thought, never mind, McClure, I'll be watching the Bodyguard tonight because it's, uh, it's the finale. Well done, Europe at the Ryder Cup, says John. Good stuff, John. I love it, John, because you're always there. A wee bit left field there, do you know what I mean? A wee bit random. 
Scotty, great Scots entertainers, uh, goes back to Burns and even beyond that, absolutely. When I was a wee boy, I used to be taken to see a man called Lex McLean. Lex McLean. Uh, no, pal, each to you, pal. Good for you, Thomas Hamilton, pal. You were watching Scotty McLean. You were indeed, I remember you. Roy Brownlow, Scotty. Uh, the knot's very wee on the tie. It's my old university tie. So it's an older tie, if you know what I mean. So you'll just have to suck it up and live with it, as we say in polite circles. So there we are. But thanks, Roy, for pointing that out. It is quite small. It's, it's not what you would call a Windsor knot. So there you are. It is a wee bit on the tight side. Yeah, I'll maybe change my tie halfway through during the interlude, you know, when the... Um, when the potter squeal comes on and the cat, the wee kitten chasing the ball of wool and we'll put some music on, that sort of thing. Um, iron missed the shot, Scotty. No, the iron was being used for the curtains just before I came on. I was doing the curtains. They got a wee wash. I do them every sort of 18, 20 years just to give them a, a freshen up, even if they don't need it. Um, time for a hoff bee and a patsy, Scotty. A hoff being a patsy. What earth are you talking about? Hi, Scotty boy. How's things, says David Boyce? I was definitely watching you last Sunday, says Tony Mac. You were Tony Mac, because I remember you. But I thought, no, no, 11 million people watched The Bodyguard. That's 11 million less watching Scotty McClure. Uh, twice a week on the radio, Scotty. Who said that? Uh, Steve Burris, any news about more than twice a week on the radio? Well, Steve, I didn't want to get you too excited, Lala, but um, I got a call from the big boss after last night's show. He was listening, and he said, uh, why don't you do a Sunday as well, Scotty? Right, so it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I went, yes, boss, yes, boss, yes, boss. So there we go. Fantastic. So there you go. Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the radio. Now, we'll need to work out what we do with our show here. I'm having a highball tonight. Celebrate. Mm -hmm. So there you are, Steve Burris. So the answer to your question is yes. We're going on three nights. Scott, you don't do too many nights on the radio. Always give yourself time to prepare your material. Well, Ali Yogi, that's a lovely, lovely thing to say. But the, the difficulty with a phone-in is you can't prepare your material. My old DJ friends used to come in and uh, say, I'm prepping my show. And if they were on in the evening, they'd be in from about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And you can't prep a phone-in. You've got to have it all here. This is why I, I have a, an argy bargy with a friend of mine that goes, stick it into the internet, read your search engine, it'll tell you. I say, I know that. It's in here. This search engine. There we are. McClure's Punnett, the biggest search engine in the world. So there we are. So, no, three nights a week. We can handle that. You know what I mean, big man? Owen Kerr, I do. I definitely do. There's no problem with that. I do understand. Robin Hood's on, Scott Hayes and David Boyd. No competition. I can give you, I can fence. I can fence. So I could do, I, I could put in a lovely fence with a gate and everything. Yes, oh yes, I can fence. Um, I look a bit like uh, Sir Lance Olivier when I'm fencing on stage. Did you watch Question Time on Thursday, Scotty? They're all still terrified of Brexit. John Paul Preston, what they should do... Hold on, hold on, I've touched my camera. I've touched my camera. Oh, and you've seen my computer. <laughs> You're getting a swatch. We're back, we're back. Um... Yes, absolutely. There's, there's, there's no problem with that. Uh, what's the rating station, says Jim Wilson? It's not a rating station, it's a radio station. It's called Nation Radio, and it's 96.3, right? It's the same frequency that the old Q96 in Scotland was on, but it's about six times the size. They are probably going out to around a couple of million people. So that's, that's a very, very, very big radio station. <coughs> and I'm very lucky. To, uh, to be on it. So there you are. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday for two hours, 10 to midnight, Scotty McClue, Scotty McClue's Nightline. All right. Get yourself sorted with this, guys. So you're ditching us in the net? No. Don't be silly. John Finlay, you're not thinking. We're on the radio Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 10 to midnight. When do I go on the internet? Nine o'clock on a Sunday night. So there's no 
ditching, but we need to work out how we're going to do it so we all coordinate, okay? And your job as a member of the human race is to listen and to phone. Now, I need you phoning. If you can hear me on the radio, I need to hear you on the telephone because I need to know just how big the radio station is. I need to know where all the corners are. So if you say he's on in Glasgow, but I stay up in Ochtermachti or whatever, and I can get it up here, you know what I mean? You can get it on the internet uh, right across the UK. I mean, it's fantastic from that. So I want you all to tune in. There's an app you can get called Radio Player, and you would put Nation Radio 96.3 Scotland into that. On it comes. You can also go on to the website, which is www.nationradio.scot, and up it will come there. Fantastic. Or you can tune in in the west of Scotland and across a good whack of central Scotland on 96.3 on the FM. But it's all the details are on the title to tonight's show. Can you see that? If you're looking at it, can you see that now? Do tell me. So John Finlay, no ditching anything. Brian Wilson, Sundays too. Paul McCulley, yes, absolutely. Do you believe the BBC, Scotty? State television, brainwashing folk. No, Matthew Roberts, I don't really think you can brainwash people if the people are sensible. So you always have to have an objective view on things and look at something and say, do you know what, <laughs> that's a lot of nonsense. Like, I was watching some of the conference speeches. I won't be political because I'm not a political animal and say what conference, but I was watching some of the speeches. And as these poor souls were delivering the speech, I thought, nope, don't believe a word of that. Right? So you've got to do that. You've got to be the thinker on here. Julianne Scott, hello, Scotty. And a big kiss, mwah, and a big kiss back to you. Watch, hash me, dinky do. Welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on the big one. Have we had a share yet? It's time for a share. Can we all start sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing? Hi, Scotty. Three days. Uh, so what have we got here? Yes, Scotty, nice one, says Steve Burrows. I had 96.3 FM, FM on all day, pal. It is a fabulous, fabulous radio station. Once you've tuned to 96.3 FM Nation Radio, you won't want to go anywhere else because it's fantastic. And they've got stations in uh, London, in Wales, in Scotland. So it's a massive, massive brand, Nation Radio. Wonderful. There we are. I feel very privileged. Gordon Elric. Uh, that's you on a three-day week then, says Mahir Peverell. Well, three-day week for that, and then seven-day week for other things. You know what I mean? It's that sort of stuff. You've got to keep going. Uh, well said, Scotty, says David McCafferty. Yes, that's what you've got to do. We're too quick to point the finger and go, oh, it's the fault. There was somebody arguing about Brexit. And they had such a tiny, tiny mind. They said, oh, but the nation's decided. Nation haven't decided. Just over half of them put down, yes, they'd like to leave because they didn't have any of the facts in front of them. Now they've got the facts. They're all changing their mind and going, oh, don't stay, you know. And then somebody was going on about um, the, the prime minister appearing weak. She's very, very strong. We're two years down the line and there's not a dish washed. Tremendous piece of work. So there you go, fantastic stuff. Uh, do Facebook on a Monday, Scotty, then we get four nights a week, says Steve Burrows. Well, we'll look at all that. I mean, some of the Facebook pop-ups, like I did one just before the show last night, wearing a big red jumper. You'll see about four of them, four different videos with a big red jumper on. That's the Nation Radio jumper, I call it. Uh, fantastic stuff. Wedge, what have we got here? Nation Radio, congratulations, says Wadge. Thank you, Wadge. Very, very much appreciated. Obviously, you know, I'm not exactly an oil painting, but television was, um, you know, how I started in broadcasting and then graduated onto radio. Tremendous stuff. So there you are. Tony Mac, Tony Mac. Uh, are you on the radio from next Sunday night? Next Sunday night. 10 o'clock sharp, nothing gets past me. Scotty McClure will be live on Nation Radio. So, guys, it's up to you to ensure that you tune in. It's on now. You can put it on now, and you can have a listen. 
All right, so there is 96.3. But don't put it on instead of a clue. Hi, Scotty, enjoyed the show last night. Dinky do, says Frank Crombie. Thanks, Frank. Very, very much appreciated, I say. Let's do a bit of sharing, guys. We need to do some sharing tonight. Very, very important. And uh, what's Wendy saying? Uh, Jimmy doing the joke of the day on Radio Scotland. Nation, Radio Nation Scotland. Nation, Radio Scotland. You're just as mad as ever, says Chris Pearson. Well, for goodness sake, Chris, it would be a dull world if uh, everybody was just all oh, right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? All that good nonsense. It's on the internet. Of course it is. It's at www.nationradio.scot and you can listen live right now. So, guys, I would always, if you ever see Scotty McClue or hear Scotty McClue on the telly or the radio, grab yourselves a stub of a hard black pencil. I think I've got one here. Here we are. Yes? And a thruppany jotter. I've got a thruppany jotter here with no batter beside your telephones, right? I've got the stuff all here. And write some of the things down. Then you're not actually saying, oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't realize. I mean, I've put all these frequencies up there and people are going, what's it on? How do you tune in? Right? It's there. Just read what's in front of you. Good man, says John Finlay. Uh, every night for pop-ups. Well, the pop-ups have been very, very successful. 2.75 million over the last two years. And tonight, I have just posted. Now, guys, one thing I'm not sure about Facebook is how often you see everything. So I send you quite a lot of stuff, but I don't know how much actually gets to you. That's because if you think about it, the nature of Facebook is like one great big long, you know, loop going round. And it just depends. There's obviously going to be more stuff posted than they've got room for kind of idea. Do you see what I mean? So I don't know how quick you see something when I post it. That's what I'm saying to you. Stephen Menzies, thank you, do. Do your call in from the hoose. Says David McCafferty. Good idea. Sh shout out to Cam White from Roberta White. Alison Pearson. Now, the radio show's a bit different, guys. We don't do second names. We don't do names of individuals. We don't do businesses. We don't slag anybody off. Not that we do on here. Watching a show about landslides in Weistalifera. Where is Weistalifera, Julianne Scott? I ask you. Uh, Peter Dale Nevins is watching Dinky Do, wonderful stuff. I had 96.3 FM on all day. Good luck, bro. I get the internet in Florida. We'll get you online from Nottingham. Perfect sound to Steve. Get it now, Steve. Tune in now. Hi, Scotty. Three days of my clue. I loved your radio. Uh, heard it loud and clear this side of Hadrian's Wall in Prescott. Oh, we like Prescott. Now, Prescott, am I right? You're just outside Liverpool. Oh. oh, that highball is lush. Hadrian's Wall. There we are. I was looking at some funny Scottish names. Mine is Echo Fechen. It sounds like an Irish swear word. So there we go. Yes, well, I do remember somebody um, having a word with a little boy. And the father says, what's wrong? And he said, I just asked your son where he was going. And he said he was going for the Fechen bus. And he says, well, he stays in the Fechen. And that's what you call Echo Fecken. You call it the Fecken. Echo Fecken is just north of Carlisle. So there you are, into Scotland, and it's known as the Fecken. So there you are. So now you know. Dear Chin Fuar, says Julianne Scott. Absolutely, Julianne. Have I got it right? Did I say it proper like? Uh, Scotty, I seen, you didn't see, you saw. Free software that could maybe do you a profanity delay, but don't know if it would work on Facebook. I'll try and send you a link over sometime and uh, let you have a wee look. John Paul Preston, that would be great. I'm always into these things. Uh, tuned into you and Van Radio managed to pick you up at Les Mihago and the M74 says so Stephen Menzies. Stephen, that's fantastic. On Friday night, I will be expecting everybody that can hear me to call me. 
and on Saturday and Sunday, all right? Because obviously the station's brand new, so we'll have to build up all the collars, but that's not a problem. And um, what we'll do then, because a big FM station, I want to find out where the corners are. Very, very important. So I want to find out how far away can you hear this on 96.3. That's what I want to do. Um, done it, done it. Shout out, please, Scotty. This is Ashley Alexander. Now we kiss him. Of course, you're going to have a shout out, Ashley Alexander. Dinky Doo, Colin Costairs is watching. John Hanlon. Hi, Scotty. Fantastic. Alice Blakemore. Hi, Scotty. How are you? I have shared. Alice. You're a princess. Thank you for that. That is wonderful. Amanda J. Scotty, when I've been listening to your show on my laptop, I kept hearing another guy's voice. Thought maybe your producer in your ear. Plus the caller sounded as though the... It says Seymour. I don't like touching Seymour. I better not. I better not in case I lose you. Sorry. The caller sounded... You may have heard the wizard of the big switchboard. So there we go. That could be what it is. I'll check that out. Thank you. But uh, it would just be a bit of uh, chat back and forward. You're a bit like flying. It's like having two pilots and the wizard of the big switchboards in your ear. He goes, John's on the next line for you, Scotty. So there we are. Uh, Mary next. All that sort of stuff. Should be a national holiday. Scotty's back on the airway. Scotty McCloody says John Hanlon. Thank you very much, Scotty McCloody. Can you imagine? No, no, we're off on uh, Friday for, uh, for Scotty McCloody. <laughs> there was National Radio Day, I'm pretty sure, just a week or two ago. Fantastic stuff. Hi, Scotty. Stuart here. Great show last night. Remember, I was on last night. I told you a joke about the bank. You did, Stuart Campbell. That was the funniest thing. That was absolutely brilliant. Genius. I don't know if I should tell it, but I'll say this was Stuart Campbell's joke last night. Shall I tell it? You let me know if I can tell it. If you say no, then I won't. I'll leave it with you, but it was a brilliant joke. Uh, I'll be calling you on the radio to say hello, says Wadge. Wadge, you had better. Everybody in the universe should call Scotty McClue once in their life, at least. All right, everybody should have a word with Scotty McClue. There's a massive death of proper talk shows out there. There's people spouting about politics and screaming and shouting about news and that, but there's nothing that actually talks to you and I. So what I'm going to create for you is the big UK phone-in, right? The big Scottish phone-in. Okay, you can get it anywhere in the UK, but it's a Scottish radio station, 96.3 on the FM, or www.nationradio.scot. Get yourselves on there. But of course, people are watching now from all over the world. So you'll not be able to get it, but you can get me on Facebook. That's what it's about. Charlie Morrison, Jim Heron. Jim Heron, it's lovely, lovely, lovely to hear from you. What an absolute top man. I used to have the privilege of uh, working with Jim Heron when I was a student. And uh, what a fine, creative, clever, cultured man. So there you are, Jim. That's you, tell now, you see. Uh, Scotty, there are too many fatties on here, says Alec Sharp. Yes, thank goodness, Alec. You and I are sylph-like. Wonderful. Waif-like, even. Thomas Hamilton done it, pal. Guys, can we have another share? I need to share. There's so many of you on here. You're distracting me. It's half past nine, and I haven't even got a share away yet. So there we are. I think you're all compensating for going and watching Bodyguard last week. Um, there we go. Fantastic. Now, who else have we got? I wake Derek up. Fantastic. I'm going to scroll right up, guys. Um, Radio Disney. Yes, wonderful. Radio does work. Yes, it does. Of course it does. I was on your show years ago talking about adoption, says Andy Hughes. I remember, Andy. I can remember the calls. Enjoyed the drunk man you were telling his pal to shush. Then he had to ruin it with a wee sweary word. And old Laura Westwater. What a, what a, what a fool. You know, he was like, hey, yeah, wee swally. You know, and his pal in the back of hey, kill him. All that. You know what? I carry on. There we are. Oi, oi, oi! Sharice, Alison, Dinky-Doo. Sharice, check that you're following me. 
Um, I hear anybody see me like Ken. We can see you, Sharice. Jason Crombie, are you watching? Dinky Doo, says Frank Crombie. Guys, you and I go back a long time. Very, very interesting. Right, let me get this up here. I've got another device here, and uh, I'm just going to do a bit of sharing. I want you to do the same. Martin Monaghan, dinky do. I've shared you onto my smart TV again, says Richard Eyre. Richard Eyre, that's fantastic. Now, what does that do, Richard? You have to tell us more. Scotty, you're still not growing any ears yet. No, my ears have gone. Uh, roast chicken and tatties tonight, says Wendy. Don't, Wendy, for goodness sake. Can he miss you, says Sharice, says Andy. Shared, Scotty. Excellent stuff, guys. That's what we need. We need a bit of sharing going on. Half past nine. How quick does the time go? Oh, what have we got here? This is ridiculous. Right, I'm just turning this down. And uh, just bear with me. I'll just get my clue up here and get the page up. Fantastic. There we are. You can't say that my clue does not embrace the latest technology. I tell you. So there we go. All the Facebook pop-ups. And guys, thank you so much because you made it all possible with your fun and your shares and your laughter and your carry on. So I've just shared that post now, okay? That's gone out there. And I'm going to do another one. I'm going to share to a, um, I'm going to share to a group. I think that's important as well. Share to group. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just put live now on here. Um, this is a wee bit easier than the big machine typing, if you know what I mean. I love it. Do you not just love the technology? Is it not fantastic? I was going to ask some friends to come round last night to my house so they could go on their phones. Uh, so there we are, and we'll put it to that group and to that group, to that group, and that group. And I think that's kind of, that'll do it, really. You don't want to, if you share too much, it can prove a wee problem. So there you go. If you do too much sharing, they sometimes say, yeah, we're going to stop you sharing. So there you go. And, and that's that. Have you noticed that? Wonderful stuff. Very good, says Michael McGuigan. Who have I missed here? Um, hello, Hans, says David to Sharice Lee. Fern is watching. Thank you, Dooley. All right, Scotty, says George Roper. George, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. You get blocked. I know Lee Stevenson. I know that's it, you know. And that's, <laughs> and then the ball is on the slates, as they say. So, uh, that's what you have. But my wee device is very, very good for sharing. But the only thing is, I've got quite big hands, as you know. Have you, um, listened to my piano? lesson. Now, I don't know if you can get that, so there you are. What have you got to eat, Scotty McClure, says Wendy Walker. Well, I haven't got the roast chicken, Wendy, so don't start. Fantastic stuff. Uh, so there we are. It sounds fantastic. Oh, roast chicken is lovely. Oh, the smoked beef is very nice. Uh, excellent stuff. Please tell a joke. I don't know any jokes there. This guy's class. I listened. Uh, Stephen McHugh, this guy's class. I listened to this guy 28 years ago, and years later he's still going strong. Scotty, you're some guy. Keep up the good work, sir. And you, Stephen McHugh. It's lovely to be going. I won't get banned, says Sharice. No, you won't get banned, darling. But uh, roast beef, says Sharice. The roast beef is very nice. The ham shank is very nice as well. The smoked beef is very pleasant. All that sort of thing. Some bars, says Sandra Cartledge. Absolutely. Knock, knock, says George Roper. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? Ah! It's always that, isn't it? Poached salmon. Oh, very nice. Now, when you say poached salmon, do you mean it's been nicked or do you mean you've poached it as you would poach an egg? Shout out for Wacko Jacko. Uh, Haggis, says Andy Hughes. Very nice. Although, Andy, I've got to front up, face up, step up to the plate here that uh, the haggis, uh, you've got potted meat, liver, tripe, give me the lot, says Sharice. You're an awful woman. Do you get it, Sharice? Awful woman. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't seem five minutes to you come on Facebook. It's gone a long way and getting better. Steve Burrows, it's two years last week I've posted the first show. And that came about with a dear friend of mine saying, you're quiet, McClure, and when you're quiet, you're up to something. I said, I'm not up to anything. He went, why don't you go on Facebook Live? 
And I said, do I need a computer? And they said, just click the icon. You know, you're thinking, you silly old fool. So anyway, click the icon, and then you all appeared. And I thought, I think we'll just do this. You can watch it. You see me with a big jumper. It was about 11 o'clock two, two years ago. I took my tin of tuna for a walk today. Right, a tuna day. I like my meat, says Sharice. Excellent, Sharice. You're building up muscle. You're putting down bone and muscle, my darling. You're going to be a big girl when you grow up. Andy Hughes, Dinky Do, excellent stuff. Scotty McClure, just for you, saying Dinky Do. If you've just joined us, guys, a very, very warm welcome. If you've never seen me before, if you're an alien life form from another planet, and you think, who's this on my Facebook? It's Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top talk show presenter. The world's top broadcaster. Uh, there we are. Oxtail, says Sandra Cartledge. Yes, absolutely, the oxtail. Stone away black pudding, says Sharice. Mm, stop it, Sharice. Stop it. Because we're thinking of banning the fry up, but we're talking about this on the radio. Especially a sausage supper, says David Turner. There's a Glasgow man who walks into cake shops and says, is that a lemon or a meringue? And the man says, no, you're right. The first time <laughs> she'll have spam, says Andy Hughes. Absolutely. They all, they all love their meat in Fife. My aunt was in hospital suffering from leprosy and tuberculosis and hepatitis and flu. I called the doctor to ask what they were feeding her. He says, dry toast, fried eggs, pizza, and as a special treat, sometimes, I can't see that, <coughs> pardon me, it's gone to uh, see more, and if I press see more, I lose the broadcast. Ah, wonderful, that is beautiful. Do you like my new glass? Fantastic, very, very expensive. Saved up and got that. Tremendous, a high ball. A high ball. Uh, a good Sunday roast chicken and beef. Says Scott Blything. I'll tell you, have you ever popped out for a carvery? And you know the women are going, oh, just I don't think I'll have just of something small. If you watch them, if it's all you can eat, right? Because I like these all you can eat for five pounds or whatever, you know? I, I went to an all you can eat uh, Cantonese for five pounds, you know, it's fantastic. But they only gave you one chopstick. That was the problem. But having said that, if you watch the women, they'll go up and they can't get any more on their plate. They then polish that off and go up again. <laughs> so there you go. Um, I don't think uh, you don't. You know, I don't think there's any kind of law against. It, although I do remember hearing in the papers, reading in the papers, I should say, you don't hear the papers unless you wrestle them. Unless your name's Russell. But um, no, I uh, remember reading in the papers about somebody that had been going up so much that the restaurant did actually call the police on them. <laughs> Hi, Scotty. How are you? Says Ashley Alexander. Fine, my darling. So there we are. Wonderful. There we are. Can we keep it clean, please, Lee? If you don't mind. Where can I catch the show that you've done on Saturday, Scotty? Will I get it at Nation Radio? Now, I don't know... If there is a listen again facility, so I'll need to look into all that. It's very new. Guys, think about it. I've done two radio shows, Friday and Saturday. The show is four hours old. So we've got a lot of growing the show to do. That's where you all come in. Tell everybody about the radio show, Nation Radio, 96.3. Okay, look it up. Scotty, how many nights in the big hoose listening to you? What a buzz. Great to see you're still going. Mick Stevenson, welcome home, I say. Uh, Scott Frew, Saturday. Yes, Saturday as well. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Spam fritters, says Sandra. Oh, now the spam. Yes, we like the spam, you know. I remember um, thinking I would like a job marketing spam, but they wouldn't let me do an email campaign. <laughs> hello, Scotty. Say hello to my girl, Sky McCrimmon, says Amanda McCrimmon. Sky McCrimmon, lovely to have you with us, and a privilege and an honour to be talking to members of the great bagpiping clan. 
Um, Steve Burrows, black pudding, tripe and liver. Love it. Well said, Cherise. There's a dish for you. Um, I'm on my diet now. Bald egg in water, bread. You just said you wait to come out. You'll get your head. Boiled egg in water. Bread said. Just you wait till you come out, you'll get your head smashed in to the water talk, the bread talking to the egg. Right, so wonderful. I had a fried egg and toast for Reggie today. Very nice, Sharice. Now, what kind of toast do you like? If people sometimes get a wee bit of a tummy, check your bread, all right? It might not be the most suitable for you, right? Uh, good evening, Scotty. I love steak and kidney pie with mashed peas, says Chanel Muffin. Mashed peas? You mean mushy peas or mashed peas? Right, come on. I still want more confessions on here. How many of you watched Bodyguard last week and forgot to watch McClue? Come on, front up, front up. It's not the end of the world, Mario O'Donnell. I know who you all are. Toby uh, is my favourite, says Shirley. She has lovely, but we're not doing any adverts. Um, I had scrambled eggs, says John. Hope that's no a weak video, says Jerry McGurk. A weak video. I made some homemade soup today. Fed five folk for three quid. What's your favourite soup, Scotty? I love the lentil. I like the chicken. I like the cream of chicken. I like the chicken broth. I like um, the um, the tomatoes very nice as well. I like the cockaliki. That's very nice as well. I enjoy that. Uh, John, you're all scrambled, says Sharice. Excellent. Keep it clean now, guys. Play nicely. Uh, two of my sons get kicked out of an all-you-can-eat in Clyde Bank for eating too much. Good for them. Well done, I say. I wonder what too much actually is. Tatties and corned beef mashed together. A corned beef hash, Greg MacArthur. Now you're talking. The corned beef hash. How are we doing for time? Guys, the time is flying. Flying in. So there we are. Sharing, please. Come on. Let's do more sharing. What is going on with this show? Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Let everybody know about Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo. <coughs> Pardon me. On Facebook Live. Just for you. I'm going to do, I'm going to share to, I'm going to go live now. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to share to, I'm going to share to my own group. Just let them know. That's the best one, isn't it? Share to your own group, I always say. You're sharing to a group, share to your own. Scotty McClure. There's about four and a half thousand of you on there, guys. Get yourselves on to the Scotty McClue stuff. And uh, there's 500 videos for you sitting on YouTube. So Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Put that in right. YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue 1. Get yourselves on there. Don't be cheeky, says John. I was in a pet shop and asked to buy a bee. The woman said, we don't sell bees. I said, well, you've got one in the window. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, so wonderful. Ashley Alexander, great man, says Peter Lockwood. And you, sir. I uh, hope that's no a wee voddy, says Jerry McGrath. No, I'm off the sauce entirely. This is a, a large high ball. There we go. Yellow card for Lee. Yes, I'll be having a look through that. There might be some stuff disappearing. Uh, David Buckley, David here, please say hello to my wife, Michelle. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Excellent stuff. Good. Uh, Peter Lockwood, whiskey and corn flakes, says Greg MacArthur. Yes, I've never actually tried it with conflicts, you know. <laughs> I always get my money's worth at those all you can eat places, the John Paul Preston. I bet. Time you retired, Scotty. Four hours. <laughs> David here, please say hello to my wife, Michelle. Please, please, please. We've just done that. So there you are. White vinegar. There's Julina Regina Grossi Ross. 
Julina Regina Grossi Ross, how lovely to have you with us. You look very handsome today. And you look very lovely, Princess Julena Regina Grossi Ross. Thank you very much. Si, Signora. Um, I'm on my diet now again after my 40th birthday celebrations over the weekend. Mrs. Mac is strict with me. Don't tell her. I like her being strict. Absolutely. Well, Tony Mac, she's doing you a massive favor because she loves you and she wants you to live long and prosper as who said that uh, whiskey in a tumbler no cornflakes <laughs> i can remember being at the royal highlands show and there were two aberdeenshire farmers obviously i hadn't seen each other for a while and it was that handshaking <laughs> pardon me if i can explain the handshaking it was all this oh oh, oh, oh my boy how are you you know, and all this, and I thought, right. And then one of them goes up to the bar, and he said, the, the lady at the bar says, what can I get you, sir? And he says, could I have a bottle of whiskey, please, and two tumblers? Ah, oh, what was that song you used to sing your intro to the show? There's a moose about the hoose, based on Lord Rockingham's 11 from, I think it was 1956, was it? I can only get Nation Radio online, can't get it on Dab and Kilmarnock. Well, that's interesting. Not Dab, get it on 96.3 on the FM in Kilmarnock, Dabsford, Glasgow. All right, so 96.3 FM, Kilmarnock, try it, Robbie. All right, and see if you can get it on that 96.3 on the FM. And if not, then get it online. I said that, so Sharice, you did. There we are, and that's the same message this guy wants us to say hello to his wife. Well, we've done that, haven't we? We've done that, I say. Wonderful. Hello to everyone that kens me, says Dino the Dog. Do the Dog, wonderful. Chicken legs, Robert Gosh, we're, we're a bit behind here, guys. Can you say hi to my girlfriend, Lynn, from Dumfries, please, Scotty, says Lee Shanley. Yes, John, his pure 100% live, darling, says Sharice, I am. I am 100% live. Excellent. Get on Digital FM as well. Well, there's not Digital FM. There's Digital and there's FM. So one's DAB, the other's FM, right? That's your uh, your frequency there. And uh, 96.3 in the FM, and then you've got it on the Internet. So you can't not get Nation Radio. All right. How tall are you, Scotty? You look like you're tall, says Juliana Regina Grossi Ross. Uh, six foot, just coming up to six foot with my bonnet. There we are, my father, six foot two. Uh, good morning, Scotty. I like your cap, says Erica Meyer. Thank you, Erica Meyer. And you are watching in Australia. In, well, in Tasmania. Now, pardon my ignorance, but would you be annoyed if I called Tasmania Australia? You know, that's what we need. When are you nation ready again, Scotty? Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Scotty, what's the difference between an elephant and a biscuit? You can't dip an elephant in your tea. Do you think that joke was better than the bank joke? Stuart, the bank joke takes a lot of beating. Can I tell it? You still haven't given me permission. Uh, Julian or Regina, Grossi Ross. Perfect height. I am the perfect height. I'm perfectly formed, Julina. The only thing is I'm not actually overweight. I'm just a little bit under height. If I was 12 foot 6, I'd be absolutely spot on weight-wise. Yo, says Carl Carlos Stanley. Sherry Salison, dicky do. More sharing, guys. What are you playing at? What is going on here? I ask you. <laughs> right. A wee bit sharing there. A wee bit sharing there. Wonderful. And uh, we've been sharing there. Good. That's probably enough sharing, actually. Better not share anymore. And uh, I'll go back to this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to share um, on my page. So there we are. So right post. Right click. And then uh, I'll put live now. Live. No. And I've now, wonderful, that's us, live now, and I'm just going to share that, and I'll share that on my page, and I'll share it to Scotty, 
McClure because there's other Facebook pages. So guys, follow Scotty McClure on all the Facebook pages. Uh, we went, we want the bank joke, says Michaela Peverell. We want the bank joke. So there we are. All right. Guys standing in a queue at the cash machine. The guy in front of him is hopping from side to side like this. And the guy behind says, are you all right? He says, I'm fine. I'm just going to check my balance. <laughs> Get it? There you go. My dad's a banker. He banks all day, says Sharice. Absolutely, yes. I used to be a banker as well. So there you are, four years. Martin Park is watching. Dinky do. Jimmy says he thought the steamroller one was good. Very good joke. Yes, yes. Depending what flat you live in. Crabs. Uh, so, no, no, Imran. Sorry, La. You are about to receive a lifetime ban. So there we are. There's Imran on, and he thought he would try and be funny, and it wasn't funny, so he's just had a lifetime ban. Red card. Good one. I like it, says Erica. Scotty, can you shout out um, to the music crowd, says Chanel Murphy. I can. Can't quite see that. John Paul Preston, lol. Did you like that one? Oh, dear, says John. Well, come on, John. Don't criticise until you can do better. That's what it's all about. And uh, Elizabeth Campbell's watching. Dinky do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on Facebook Live. I am the world's top broadcaster. I am, of course, the first lord of the internet. Uh, so you've tried it, Andy. Honk, honk. Good night, pal. Have a good week. See you soon, says Thomas. See you, Thomas. Bye-bye, La. Are you going or am I? Uh, Nilo Gormley, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Neil, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, what is the time? Oh, my goodness. Time for one more share. Can everybody watching share this program, please? Do it now. And remember, Scotty McClure is on the radio in Scotland. The radio is on now, 96.3. On the FM, it's called Nation Radio. It's a brand new radio station. It is outstanding. You will love it. The music is absolutely out of this world. Uh, Scotty, did you hear about the explosion in the cheese factory? Debris went, debris went everywhere. <laughs> oh, a cheesy joke. Excellent. Good night. I'm out of here, Sean McCormick. I don't blame you. Excellent stuff. Those of you who watched the drama last week, you have to now make this right. So get sharing and sharing and sharing all week. I'll put you on sharing duties. Um, shout out, says Sharice. Jimmy's gone to bed. It's very quiet here, says Wendy. How are the foxes getting on, says Makia? Foxes are beautiful. Saw a little beauty last night. I says, hello, you. And he lay down and watched. Fantastic. So there we are. <laughs> Two cannibals ate a clown and one said, did that taste funny to you? Do you know the dog? The sun is 93 million miles away. Nothing gets past me, you know. Well, a guy came into the optician just as he was closing up. The optician said, can I help you? He says, yes, I wonder if you can give me an eye test. I can't see very well. He took him to the door. He says, what's that? He says, it's the sun. He says, how far do you want to see? Uh, Scotty, I was going to phone in, but it's a bit scary phoning the world's greatest broadcaster. Charles McLachlan, not at all. Quite the reverse. I will guide you through the call. It's just a phone call. It's a chat. All the radio station is is a facility for you and me to get together and chat. So there you are. Uh, I'm staying to the final whistle, pal. So you should. There might be a few more goals. Uh, there's a new song about sneezing. It's called Blame It On The Bogey. Oh, right. Uh, Jackie Trotter, Dinky Doo. Guys, can I say it's been lovely, lovely, lovely having you with me for two years on Sunday nights. This is show number 114. What about that? 114 wonderful shows that you and I 
have spent together watching all over the world, people in South America, people in Australia, people in India. Another fantastic show again, Scotty, as always, says Steve Burrows. Bless you, Steve, you're very kind. Scotty, I saw a guy at the ATM with two jacks on. I asked him, what are you doing that for? He said, it's helping with the overdraft. <laughs> Dino you know the dog, Scotty, mines is a large one. You mustn't boast on here, Dino. That's personal information. Chocolate factory. Um, there was an explosion at the chocolate factory. The victim was found shouting, the milky bars are in me. <laughs> Raja, thank you very much. Respect, Scotty, says Andy Hughes. And to you. Thank you, Raja. Lovely to hear from you. And uh, we will translate that, and I will tell everybody. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. It's wonderful. Fiona Gibbons, how are you? Uh, why did the baker decide to get a job? To earn a crust. Uh, respect to Scotty, says Sharice, and to you, darling. Oi, says Raja. Oi, absolutely. Do you remember the Bertie Bassett Thistle on STV? Says Kelly McMahon. I used to introduce it. I used to say, you're watching Scottish television. I overdosed in curry and ended up in a coma. I was down in Birmingham having a curry one time, and uh, the manager came up and he says, curry okay? I said, yes, put me down for Frank Sinatra, my way, and don't let it go too fast. Um, so that where would you be without us, Scotty? Excellent show, Scotty. I'll be tuning into Nation Radio on Friday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, as from next week, guys. Big breaking news. Tell everybody. New York City. I love you. Dinky do from Raja in New York City. Thank you. That is brilliant. Christmas crackers opened early this year, says David Turner. Yes, and they've remembered the jokes. I got a job in the bakers because I was kneading the dough. Oh, when I was a wee boy, I got a job in the jewelers cleaning the shaft out the cuckoo clocks. <laughs> um, who read the weather in STV? I'll have to try and remember all that. My goodness me. Nosda, Scotty, says Julianne Scott. She's down in Wales. I say, Julianne, Nosda to you. Fantastic stuff. And yaki da tomorrow. Uh, Talent your summers. Um, so there we are. Right. A little fellow, I shall say, went into the butchers and was asked to grab the meat from the top shelf. He said, sorry, the steaks are too high. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Can I join the stream? Of course you can. Everybody can join the stream. So there we are. <laughs> a little boxer went on a date with a six-foot gorgeous woman. He was punching well above his weight. <laughs> right, enough of all that. I once had a night out with a clown. And uh, she said to me, Scotty, can we take your car? Because if you start mine up, the lights flash and the doors fall off. Uh, you worked on L107 in Lanarkshire. I did, Callum McMahon, a wonderful radio station. We had stewardship problems, but there we go. Uh, Morsi Puffin, Dinky Do, excellent to hear from you. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Out in Australia there. So there we are. Gav's right. I don't know. People ask me that question. I don't know is the honest answer. Um, why? Uh, what's black and white and red all over? Says Gavin Walker. A newspaper. I wanted to be a carpet fitter, but I didn't have a flair for it, says Neil O'Gormley. Lots of clowns. Morning from Sydney in Australia, Scotty, says Morsi. Morning, Morsi. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, I'm just checking the time. I think we're going to have to go, guys. What a fabulous show tonight. Remember and tell everybody about this. I am live on Nation Radio in Scotland. 96.3 on the FM. Nationradio.scot on the internet. Radio player. Nation Radio 96.3. All right, it's a phone in. It's two hours from 10 o'clock sharp until midnight. It's Friday. It's Saturday. And from tonight, it's Sunday. All right, so join us then, guys. And phone 
every single one of you phone me. I'll give you the telephone number 0141 811 0475. Fantastic stuff. Uh, bye, Scotty. You're amazing as always, Sosesh and Alexander. And to yourself, my dears. I am going now. I'm going to sing you the song. So please jump back, Scotty. Top man, says Gavin Walker. And you, Gavin. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of wit or zane, au revoir, and a cheery o. Join me in the radio. Nation Radio. That's the future of radio in Scotland. Text me that number, says Sharice. No, write it down, Sharice, or go on the website and you'll see it there. Right? Okay. Excellent stuff. It's all there for you. Now, Sharice, I know you're not afraid of work. Now, Scott, this is Tony Mac. Bye. See you next week, mate. Cheerio, says Amanda J. Cheerio, my darlings. Dinky-doo.